Come ride with me as I take a neighborhood drive through tour of the Stonebridge Village in Summerlin. That's what I'm talking about. So let's get started. everyone welcome back to my channel I'm Angela O'Hare your favorite Las Vegas realtor and welcome to my Summerlin series today I'm going to do a neighborhood drive-through tour of just the Stonebridge Village I have done an 89138 neighborhood tour but I thought I would just solely focus on the Stonebridge Village and give you um, to just really showcase the village and then talk about the different builders that are in this village as well I am your local Summerlin expert. If you want to learn more about Summerlin, you can always check out my website at summerlincommunities.com. And be sure to hit the like and, you know, like, subscribe button, right? Doing these videos for you guys. <laughs> Anyways, I just got off of the 215. I am now heading west on Charleston Boulevard. And then, as you can see straight ahead, I don't know if you can see on my little DJ Action Osmo, the mountains, uh, the Red Rock Mountains. So this is the furthest village to, or the village that's closest to Red Rock Mountains as of now. Now, Summerlin still has another 20 plus years to go. So there's gonna be more villages super close to Red Rock Canyon. Now, Stonebridge Village is a newer village here in Summerlin. It was developed in the late 2017 timeframe. And it's about a 502 acre village with 12 different subdivisions and it has a community park. Now all the villages in Summerlin will have a main community park inside it. And sometimes within the subdivision, there may be a park within that subdivision as well. So what we're gonna do is tour all the 12 different subdivisions here in the Stonebridge Village and go over who the builders were and if they're still selling. It's pretty much closed out. The only communities that are actively selling is Lennar by Heritage, which is a 55 plus retirement community. Raycliff has a few items left over. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, everything's almost done here. Um, so yeah, let's go check it out. I am taking a left over here on, sorry, I need my glasses. Crossbridge. We were, we were on Sky Vista. Sorry, I know some people make fun of my glasses, but you know what? I need them to drive, okay? I wear prescription sunglasses. <laughs> and so, you know what? If I look like a bug, I don't care because I need to see. Anyways, to the right is the Stonebridge Village, and it just recently opened up, maybe six months ago. Um, I did a video on it, and it's a very nice little park. It has pickleball courts, um, nice lighted areas. It's a very nice park. So what we're entering is the very first subdivision in Stonebridge, which is called Caldonia by KB Homes. This was the very first community in Stonebridge Village. And this one, at the time, they have one and two story homes. They had nine different floor plans to choose from and between 1850 square feet to 3095 square feet with three to six bedrooms and it looks like two car garages. So the only thing about this community, I mean, it, yes, KB is a great builder um, and maybe because it is a, what a Monday at 10 o'clock in the morning, people are at work. But normally when I drive through this community, you have a lot of cars parked in it um, on the streets. And I noticed that there's not a lot of sidewalks. There's like one sidewalk on each side of the um, neighborhood. Now, a lot of the homes or the older homes or neighborhoods in Vegas will be much wider the houses aren't as congested or as tight together and they have sometimes two sidewalks and not a lot of cars parked in the street I think when you start having cars parked in the street it becomes looking dumpy to me but you know to each his own I suppose so let's um, just go down one more row and then we'll just go on to the next 
subdivision. I'm going to take some video footage of the home so you guys can see them. So this one is not a gated community. It's just a normal community. And the HOA for this one is $48 a month. HOA for Summerlin West is $48 a month. Now some of these subdivisions are gonna be gated. So you're gonna have two HOAs. You're gonna have the HOA for the gated community and then Summerlin West HOA. The next community or subdivision in Stonebridge is Shadow Point by Toll Brothers. I may not be able to get into it because they do lock the gates, but we'll see if I will be able to get in there. Last time I tried, it would not let me in. I have clients that bought in this community just recently closed. Oh, great. So that's open. So Shadow Point is pretty much sold out. Um, this is by Toll Brothers. And the cool thing about the Shadow Point is that they had six different floor plans to choose from. They had three floor plans that were single level living. And then you could pick the elite option of that single story floor plan and make it two stories with a bedroom and a loft upstairs. So it just depended on the floor plan. Um, and the square footage range between 2364 square feet to 2879 square feet, three to four bedrooms, two and a half to five, four and a half bathrooms and two car garage. Um, this was a very popular community. People liked Shadow Point. Obviously, everyone loves Toll Brothers. And some of these houses had some great views. So I tried to sell them, but it was hard. Looks like they're finally actually closing. Now, when you buy new construction with Toll Brothers, they typically take 12 plus months to build, depending on where in the valley it is. That's because when you have to select your structural options, all this has to get approved through the city um, for permits. So then that's a process to get approval, especially considering all the new construction that's going on in the Las Vegas Valley. So this is a very nice community. I really like the elite version of the single story homes. Um, they also did the same similar concept over in Acadia Ridge by Toll Brothers in the Red Point Village. It is bright out. You cannot avoid the sun in Vegas. I mean, seriously. Let's take a video of some of the houses just to show you. You know, I love Vegas because plenty of sunshine year round. However, it does get a bit old when you want a cloudy day or a rainy day or when you want to film and you don't want sun blaring <laughs> on the windshields. The sun is getting in my recording way, <laughs> getting in my way. And the nice thing about this community too is not only is it gated, but they also have a community pool. A lot of the Toll Brothers communities have um, a community pool inside it as well. And this one also has like a little picnic area that you can overlook a part of the Red Rock Canyon. I've done several videos in this community. It's like one of my favorite ones, Shadow Point. Well, that used to be, no, there's that. 
These used to be the model homes. It's interesting. Um, yeah, these ones were the model homes. I don't know if you can see right there. Those were the model homes. And then the community pool's right there. And then my client's house. I'm not going to tell you because I don't want it, but it's in here. <laughs> Super close by. Very nice. Okay. On to the next one. So the next one is going to be Sky Knoll by Richmond American. This is not a gated community, and they're all two story homes. Let me stop and make sure. So this one, um, they had, I don't know how many floor plans they had to choose from, but it's anywhere between 1,600 to 1,890 square feet, three to four bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, and a two car garage. So let's go check this one out. This one's again sold out as well. They're a little smaller homes from what I remember, and they were a little more affordable than the rest. So um, a lot of the homes on the inner circle were supposedly gonna be more affordable. I'm just going to briefly peruse through this because since it's so sunny on the windshield, typically my GoPro action or my DJ Osmo action on my GoPro will not last. But while we're here, let's take a video of the houses to show you. Alrighty, onward and forward. Now the next one is going to be Sandalwood by TriPoint Homes. Oh yes, that's another community that they're still selling in here. They're almost sold out, but they still have some homes that are available. I really love TriPoint. It's actually one of my favorite builders. Whoops, I lied. I always forget because it's so new. The next community actually is Heritage by Stonebridge, which is a new 55 plus active adult community here in the Summerlin area by Lennar Homes. And they have three different collections with about three, six, nine different models, I do believe. I can't remember specifically. I did a video on Heritage and a video on all the model homes as well. This is uh, just recently opened to the public. So it's a very nice community, lots of great views. Um, that's super close to the Red Rock Canyons. I don't know if there's going to be any other village eventually behind this community, but as of right now, there's nothing. They're going to have a community center. I think it's like an 8,000 square foot community center. Uh, you know, just nice retirement community lifestyle here in Summerlin. Now Summerlin has five different retirement communities. You have Sun City Summerlin, you have Siena, you have um, Trilogy, Regency, and now Heritage. It's not much right now to this community. You have all the model homes right here. Let's see. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I do believe. The one good thing about this area is it has some beautiful views. Oh, once we get down there, I'll stop and we'll look at it. I don't know if you can see the city in the backdrop. That's pretty beautiful. The only disadvantage is, is that the gun range is right there, so you're going to be hearing pops all the time. But it's super close to Red Rock Canyon. It's a little windy out today. Um, so, you know, you're going to have, it goes down. They finally got the roads down here. These lots over here are going to have some really great views. I don't know, per se, of the city. The houses that are going to be on the perimeter will have good views of the city, but these houses will have good views of the mountains. So 
it's gonna be interesting how this takes shape and it looks like you know they've got some progress done and they're selling very well so let's uh keep on touring okay onward and forward I am getting a little concerned that my DJ Osmo action is heating up which gosh I mean seriously you spend a lot of money on all this gear and it doesn't really work I mean yeah granted it's not even hot out but I guess it can't record continuously for a certain amount of time it's like what's the point of these this equipment if it doesn't work which bites majorly all right so now we're gonna go to sandalwood they're still selling in sandalwood by tripoint homes they don't have much left but they are still selling tripoint just recently opened two new villages or two new subdivisions in the red point village one's called overlook and the other one's called king's canyon as I mentioned a little bit ago, TriPoint is one of my favorite builders here in the Vegas Valley, just because of the style. It's very modern looking, very sleek. I like the clean lines. I like the square look. I like, you know, just more mid-century modern in a way, in my opinion, than anywhere else. And, and it's very unique compared to what you'll see in the rest of Summerlin when it comes to you know, a lot of its Spanish contemporary styles. I like this because it's definitely outside the box literally a box <laughs> just kidding so try point let's get to business right there are one and two story homes with about six different floor plans to choose from 28 21 square feet to 44 54 square feet with three to five bedrooms two and a half to five and a half bathrooms three to four car garage priced in the 900 so as i mentioned they are still selling, but there's not much left. And I remember when they opened up this community, it was just right when COVID hit. And I was gonna do a video of all the model homes and I got busy, believe it or not, and, and then they closed everything down. So I wasn't able to do um, a video of this community or of this, um, the model homes. got the Christmas lights so this is it this is all that's left not a whole heck of a lot one two buckle my shoe three four like they have a few over here typically when builders build they save the last lots closest to the front for last just because uh, I don't know why they do that they just do these are the last lots left and then a couple in the back and they also have like a little picnic area too Alrighty, onward and forward So next, next is Greycliff by Lennar Homes, and they have a few uh, lots left as well. Um, this is a great community. I've sold about three homes in this community. 
houses are really big. They have three different floor plans to choose from. Um, anywhere between, let's see, where are we? Uh, 2634 square feet to 3214 square feet, four bedrooms, three to three and a half bathrooms, two to three car garage, priced in the mid 700s. And so when my clients bought in here, they bought probably the beginning of January or the end of December last year. They moved in maybe May time frame. So by the time they bought it and closed, they had already gained about 100K in equity, which is pretty crazy that they gained that much money in just a short period of time. Now my clients bought to as investment, they bought all these homes as investments. So they are renting them out and they're getting a lot of money for them. They're getting like, let's just take a shot video of this little road right here. They're getting about, one's getting 4,000, the other one's getting 5,000 for, the, for their rental income. So that's pretty crazy. But you know, the rental market here in Vegas is very rough. So, I mean, they made out pretty well with their rental. And these are nice homes, very big, spacious. I mean, look how huge they are. And the nice thing about one of these floor plans they have is the next gen, it's the mahogany next gen. And that is an awesome floor plan. Downstairs has a next gen suite that has a little kitchenette, a living room area, a washer and dryer inside it and a bedroom. I mean, it's pretty cool. And it has its own access to the garage. It has its own like little garage section. And of course it's overheating. It has its own little garage section and entry. And you know, if you want it for rental income, it's perfect. Now the good thing about Lennar is their everything included package where everything is included pretty much. It comes with the two inch vertical blinds, um, all the appliances, I think refrigerators, but I don't think it comes with the washer and dryer in the main room. If you do buy the next gen suite, it does have the washer and dryer included. So it's a very nice neighborhood. Um, and these now are up in the upper 800s. It's, it's amazing how much it's increased from when they first released this community. I remember it was like in the 600s, 500s, and now we're in the 800s. It's crazy. Wow, they're finally finished in here. I remember looking with clients and trying to pick lots over here and they decided against it because there's this huge 30 foot at least retaining wall. All right, I'm gonna stop real quick, switch out the frigging camera to the GoPro and continue on. Okay, onward and forward. I think this technology thing sucks. Sorry, you know, if it's not a perfect video. And sorry that my drive, the cameras heat up. I can't help it. Okay, that's fun. Let's continue onward. Got that recording, make sure. <laughs> so the next community, unfortunately it's gated and it's locked. It's Scott's Pine by Richmond American. They are all single story homes and they had four different floor plans to choose from, ranging between 3370 to 4,000 square feet. It was huge, huge single story homes. Three to five bedrooms, two and a half to three and a half bathrooms with two and three car garages. I have taken a video of that neighborhood so I will showcase it in this video from before. Unfortunately, I can't get in right now. Next, we're gonna go through um, West, what is it? West Scott by Lennar Homes. And these homes I think are a little smaller version of Greycliff and whoops, 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 there you go. This is also a gated community. Again, all of these communities are gated, but I don't know what the HOA is for each of them. I just know that Summerlin West HOA is $48 a month. Now this one, again, sold out two-story homes. They had three different floor plans to choose from, ranging between 1834 square feet to 2099 square feet, three to four bedrooms, two and a half to three bathrooms with three car garages. Sorry, two car garages. And um, these look a lot smaller, which they are, right? Yeah, they're a lot smaller 
than the other one. And this one seems very tight. It seems like very narrow streets. I mean, look, you can barely have two cars parked next to each other. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's nice to buy new construction. It's nice to live in a new construction community, but you don't know what it's gonna look like until after everything's done and people move in. You don't know if there's gonna be people parking in the cars. Now, my advice is pay attention to how narrow the road is. If it seems super narrow, then obviously, in my opinion, I would reconsider buying in there. I I guess maybe because I'm a claustrophobic kind of person and this is kind of like too tight and narrow for me. <laughs> but you know, to each his own. Um, yeah, it's kind of bright out. That's a cul-de-sac maybe, I don't know. It's pretty big though, this West Cliff. Westcott, sorry. Alrighty, let's see if we can get some pictures of the homes. Okay, let's get out of here. That took a long one. That was a, it was pretty big. I don't know how many homes were in that one. Let's move on, because we still got a few more subdivisions to drive through. Alrighty, let's stop and be good. My hair is getting long. Let's see how long I can let it go debating on how long I'll let this go. As it gets longer, it gets curlier, which I'm not complaining about, but I haven't had long hair in a very long time. So across the way is Durrell Academy, which I think is a charter school. Um, and then the next community that we're gonna go over is um, let's see which one are we gonna go over. Let's go over this one, Bixby Creek by Woodside Homes. These are one and two story floor plans. Oh good, yeah, let's go on this one since someone's driving in. Um, with six different floor plans, 1931 to 2591 square feet, three to five bedrooms, two and a half to three and a half car garage, and two to three, uh, sorry, three to five bedrooms, two and a half to three and a half baths, and two to three car garage, so. This is pretty nice. I like Woodside Homes. They had, again, single story and two story homes. Gotta wrap this up. I'm supposed to meet my clients at 11 to give them their keys. Uh, let's just flip a bitch and make some videos. Get out of this neighborhood. You guys get the drift. The next one, the next one is uh, Bristol Val by KB Homes. They also are sold out as well. They just recently sold out. I had sold maybe two homes in this community and I have a good friend that lives in this community. Um, let's see, where's the entrance? This way, okay. There, 
Oh, so this one had two different collections with, uh, let's see, 12 different floor plans between 1787 square feet and 3063 square feet with three to six bedrooms, two and a half to five bathrooms and all two car garages. And my friend has, um, his house has beautiful views, but then my clients, I did a video on it. It was a final walkthrough on uh, Wind Poppy. They have some spectacular views, especially off of the balcony upstairs. We're just gonna briefly go through this neighborhood. It's a little tight as well. Uh, let's see if they still have the models available. No, it looks like they sold the models. Ooh, there's my friend's house. Looks like somebody is there. Nope. So they all kind of look the same to me. Nothing really unique about this neighborhood. Even though it's, I mean, yes, it's a nice neighborhood. And the homes for KB is a lot more affordable than any of the other builders here in the um, Stonebridge Village compared to especially like TriPoint. I'm not going to go that way. TriPoint and Toll Brothers. KB is one of, I mean, it's a nice builder, don't get me wrong, but it's a lower end builder. And one of my clients' homes is there. They're renting it out. And I think they got a little over $3,000 a month for a 2,400 square foot house and a 2,000 square foot house. So rental here, like I said, in Vegas is cray cray. Let's get out of here. And we have two more subdivisions to go over and that's by Pulte Homes. So eventually they are going to be building villages here. I don't know when. Again, Summerlin probably has another 15 to 20 more years to go with seven more villages in the works. So now we're going to go check out the last two communities in the Stonebridge Village, which are Starling by Pulte Homes and Foxtel by Pulte Homes. So Starling are the bigger homes. We'll check that one out first. And the Starling had are all two-story homes with five different floor plans, anywhere between 2806 square feet to 3824 square feet, three to five bedrooms, two and a half to four and a half bathrooms, and two to three car garages. Now this one is, um, some of the models or floor plans that were in this community are gonna be in a brand new community coming up. It's a new master plan community called Sky hills I do believe and they're gonna have the Palermo model they're gonna have um, oh, I can't remember off the top of my head the same models or similar models that they had here at least two or three of the same models they had here they're gonna have in this new community in the northwest side of the valley called Sky Hills I do believe so again all of these are sold out I'm just gonna hurry up and get out of here And then we'll check out Foxtel and that wraps up this village. Nope. Cold sack. Now, when you're buying new construction here in Vegas, pretty much anywhere nowadays, it's very rare to get a home that has a huge lot. I mean, the average size for these new construction homes are maybe five to 7,000 square feet. Some of them will be bigger, and obviously the bigger in lot size, the more um, lot premium you're gonna have. So, um, now a lot of these are super close to each other, uh, 10 feet, 12 feet maybe apart from each neighbor. Your yard's gonna be a lot smaller. Some of them you may be able to put a pole in the yard but just you know FYI everyone loves new construction but these are the things you need to think about when you're buying new construction is I mean look at this of course it's still under construction but this would drive me nuts so 
Um, and it just depends on the neighborhood. So when you're buying in a new construction neighborhood, you need to pay attention to how wide the streets are and then pay attention to how close the houses are gonna be together. Because to me, this is just very tight. I mean, yes, granted you have beautiful views wherever you go, but I would not want to live in here. And yeah, it's Pulte. Oh well, I mean, still. <laughs> but it's also nice to live in a home that no one's ever owned and it's your you know you have your own stuff and your own selections but again these are the things you need to think about when you buy new construction and another thing to think about is what are your property taxes typically or not typically they're usually about 1% of total purchase price. So your property taxes are gonna be pretty much double than if you were to buy a resale home. So now we're gonna go into Foxtel. And this one is also done, they sold the models. And they had, let's see, six different floor plans from one and two story homes. Two different collections between 2,063 square feet to 2,450 square feet two to four bedrooms, two to three and a half bathrooms, and two to three car garage. Um, so that's pretty easy. This looks like it's all the single story homes. So let's just do a quick recording of that. I'm just gonna go down to the very end. Uh, they did a lot of single stories in here. This is pretty cool, this house. I tried to sell this lot to my client, but they decided to buy in reverence. And they actually got a very nice house by Pulte as well. But this is the only house in this whole little cul-de-sac, which I find interesting that they did that. Um, it's very private. I mean, gosh, I wonder how much that lot premium was to have that one. I can't remember specifically, but that was the only one in that cul-de-sac. I mean, that's kind of crazy, don't you think? <laughs> Anyways, let's get out of this neighborhood and then we're going to wrap this stuff up. ready for winter. I mean, yes, it's been beautiful the last few weeks. Right now it's November the 15th. It's been in the 70s and 80s. But come on, I got some winter clothes I want to wear. I want to wear my boots. I want to wear some sweaters. It just needs to get a little colder for a while and then it can be warm again. Okay, so let's, come on. It's very, very warm November. It's unusually warm this time normally it's not this warm but it has been beautiful I just wish it was just slightly maybe 10 degrees cooler um, so yep we're exiting now we are leaving the last subdivision in the stone bridge village what did you think of it hopefully I provided some great information for you and you can see what this village is all about. I have done a video on the Red Point Village neighborhood drive through I've done a video on the Red Point Square Village neighborhood drive through I've done a lot of neighborhood drive throughs of Summerlin. I am your local Summerlin real estate expert. I know everything there is to know about new construction and resale homes here in all of Summerlin. I have been extensively for the last three years on my YouTube channel. I've done nothing but, well not nothing but, I've done a lot of Summerlin videos. And I'd like to think that I am your Summerlin expert. So if you are thinking about buying or selling in the Summerlin or Las Vegas area, you can always give me a call at 702-370-5112. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I need those subscribers. 
I'm only at maybe 5,300. I produce a lot of fantastic content. Come on, let's subscribe to me. <laughs> Anyways, guys, happy Monday. Happy day to you. I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you.